You have the capability. You have the skill. There is something about this team that is different. And the question I want you to consider before that tip off on Thursday night is, do you believe? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome inside the Madame Athletic Center, starting with the Laval Rouge AR, who almost went perfect in their regular season, 15 and 0. Yeah, the regular season for Laval was nothing short of dominant in the RSEQ. First in just about every statistical category. Okay, how are we feeling? Great, great. Put pressure on them for 40 minutes, all out sprinting up the floor. Pass ahead when we can, but I really, really believe in our transition offense to make them uncomfortable. What a special, special, special experience tonight, right? I walked in the lobby, there's 200 people lined up waiting for their shirt. We've talked about it all season, but really all week, in that we are playing for an incredible university and community tonight. We're playing for each other, so let's do that with aggression, excitement, energy, passion, heart, and compete for 40 minutes. All right, let's go. What an atmosphere it is here, Hanya. Sophia Pasco wins the tip, and we are off and running. Drama. The Ryerson and Rams so far, Nick, have been very calm, very steady. Oh, loose ball, Scott recovers. Back the other way they go. Jonathan Edward, he has. Maybe a little bit of nerves here, Nick, to start off for the Laval Rougeur. A drive, and it's good. And we were told that this is what we were working for. We were working for a national championship. We were going to be done on March 10th. In the span of two hours, that all came crashing down. Okay. We're good, we gotta settle in and we gotta stay engaged for full defensive possessions, all right? We gotta continue to talk, right? We're relaxing off the ball and they just stay with their stuff, all right? You see that tenacious defensive pressure that they bring in, that is why they are the best ranked defensive team in the country. Laval really settled in the game nicely. They got their looks offensively, they moved the ball well, they penetrated inside and really, they got whatever shot they wanted. The best defense in the nation statistically. And that's what I mean, Nick, it's their threes. It's their threes that kill this Ryerson team. Ruggiero is trying to pull away with this one. Up 15. Hopefully the Rams could clean it up though. They had a couple loose balls that could have gone either way. Nice pump fake there, right to Bronwyn and the finish. Lavalle having a hard time guarding her. And they collect again, here's Edmund. Gets it to go. Claudia Edmund. Rucho wants the ball though, she's setting a pick and roll. Emo to Lavalle. Lavalle is going to make a beautiful move and gets it to go. And that'll do it for the first half here. Rouge or up 32 to 19. What a half. I think when we, we've run into a little bit of contact sometimes defensively, we're starting to take the easy route. Okay, let's muscle back and take the hard route, right? And get, get into good position. All right, it's not going to happen in one play. Continue to trust the process. And I think the biggest thing, there's been moments of fatigue hitting us. And we've just had little lulls. We got to make sure that we work our tails off as all 15 of us together to fight through those. You know, I certainly believe we could have won the tournament. Uh, Laval is absolutely a great team and deserving of making the final, but. Uh, we knew we deserved to be in consideration for that too, and unfortunately, 
uh, the way things played out leading up. We, we were the eighth seed and had to play one of the best teams on the, the first day and we got probably their best game of the weekend. So really disappointed to not to have a chance to be on the winner's side. How would I describe the 2018, 2019 team? I would say we were fairly resilient. Um, you know, there's lots of games that we got down or, um, you know, games that we lost that we were disappointed in where we were able to bounce back. Um, I would say connected, that I think they, they will be friends for life after that experience and, and we will all be connected after the season we had last year, not just in hosting, but um, in the relationships that we built and uh, the togetherness that we had. I can strongly say that they are all my best friends, my closest friends. We all have each other's backs like you wouldn't believe and I'm so grateful for every single one of them and for what they bring on the court and off the court because they are all such amazing people. It's a group that like even though you know we're all not together anymore we're still like close we still keep in touch and I think that'll last longer than any basketball game or season. So. They brought great leadership tonight, some composure, some compete. Uh, they didn't quit, and uh, you know those are the characteristics that we build our culture around. We're incredibly excited, one, about the work that our returning players have put in. A bunch of players have come back better and ready to go um, and are really feeding off the experience, I think, of last season and ready to step up into some bigger roles. This season is about being new and fresh, too. My name is Tate Thula, and I'm a first year, and I'm a shooting guard. The girls have been great. We've all like gone along really well, so I was a bit nervous like coming in being younger than everyone, but they've done a really good job of like welcoming and accepting all of us. We've got some new leadership. We've got different players stepping up in different roles. So I think we're, we're soaking up some of that change and, and some of the, the fresh feel that's coming with this season. And, um, you know, we we'll want to take the experience that we've gained the last year or two and and take that forward to have another great year.